Okay, you guys, I really hope this works because if not, I'm gonna struggle. This is obviously a different like setup kind of that we got going on but um whatever it's what I have to work with I would film inside in my room but there are people home and I don't like you can easily hear through the walls and doors in the house and so I just rather not deal with people listening in on me okay. so first question was from Rachel Rachel Shade, um, do you have a favorite joke? If not, what makes you laugh until your sides hurt? No, I don't have a favorite joke, but <laughs> I think just general accidental humanness is funny, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it, just like... <laughs> accidentally when I accidentally trip or something that's just hilarious to me um when my brother my brother has these weird quirky things that he does and it just makes me laugh and just you know how like when someone accidentally says a word wrong or whatever that that's funny to me like I, I don't know why or how to explain it it's just oh we're so funny <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not a very good answer, but if you're in the moment, if we're in the moment together and like something happens and I laugh my sides off, then you'll understand <laughs> why I'm sure. Okay, next question is also by, um, not the same Rachel, but a different Rachel. Uh, what bands or artists and authors do you feel you connected most with? Okay automatically hands down Evanescence. I love Evanescence so much you have no idea. <laughs> they, the, I can't, I pretty much relate to almost every single one of their songs. Lithium is probably my theme song if I'm being honest. I love that song so much. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Definitely um, Evanescence. Um, there's a lot of like other there's other bands out there that are kind of like my go-to's you know like um Korn, Marilyn Manson is an artist um not a band what did I say Korn, System of a Down um oh my gosh Nightwish and Within Temptation Nightwish and Within Temptation are like songs that I can actually sing to well not like professionally but um, and so, and I just love their music because it's just different than like, it's symphonic metal and it's its own thing kind of, so they're just different and I like that. Um, also, Clan of Zymox. Clan of Zymox is like, am I saying that right? Is like a cross between Sisters of Mercy and Bauhaus, but they're also their own thing, of course. They're, I do love Sisters of Mercy too, but I think I like Clan of Zymox a little more. Oh, cross between Sisters of Mercy and um, the 69 Eyes. That's that's the band that I want. And they occasionally have a like a touch of Bauhaus too, but for the most part, that's their thing. They, yeah, their music. Um, first song I ever heard by them was a word I probably can't pronounce correctly and I heard it and I fell in love so yeah um oh authors and your own Poe I haven't really read enough of a single author aside from Edgar Allan Poe to like know if I connect with them or to love them like I do Edgar Allan Poe so yeah I feel like I don't know to a degree, I feel like Edgar Allan Poe could be like my male past counterpart or something. 
I don't know, like the male version of me, but in that century and with some changes. Anyways, I don't know. That was weird to say. I'm sorry. Okay, moving on. <laughs> um, ever been told you're not goth enough? Not those words exactly. I've been told, I mean, if you watched that one video, then you know this, but um, I've been told that I can't film YouTube videos unless I wear white foundation. I can't call myself goth unless I wear white foundation, unless I look the proper way. Um, but no, it's, I've never been told those exact words. I've been told things that suggest them or changes to make to, to changes to make that would make me goth. <laughs> I'm like, really? Yeah, I don't like talking about that. Okay. Next one. What is your favorite piece or pieces of gothic literature and why? By Rin. Um, okay. The Monk by Matthew William. Oh my gosh. Matthew McGregor. The Monk. I reviewed it before I deleted my channel. Um, but The Monk. I'm sorry. The Monk and um, The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. Okay. <sighs> And why? Because they're just fantastic. The monk is, the ending in the monk got me so, I was like, and, <laughs> yes, um, I didn't, did I have a favorite character in the monk? I don't think I did, because everyone was either too perfect or too evil or like, too, too perfect or wrong. <laughs> um, whereas in The Woman in White, um, oh my gosh, what's her name? The main character's sister. Well, there's a bunch of main characters. I don't know. I like The Woman in White a little more than I like The Monk, but The Monk was written so... I need words. Lavish. That's not the right word. It's amazing. It'll make you feel, and it's so just dis passionately descriptive. It's amazing. And then the story in um, the Woman in White is great, and I love that. I like the characters a little more in the Woman in White. So if you haven't read those, you totally need to because they're amazing. Um, <clears throat> there's another one I'm missing. Maybe Frankenstein too by Mary Shelley. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I also like No. Yes and no. I like Carmilla. Anything that deals with folkloric vampire. I also love Dracula. But the monk and the woman in white are like my absolute favorites. So... Yeah, okay, sorry. Anyways, moving on. Do you ever want to get married? What is your dream vacation? What is your favorite food by Adriana? AKA the Midnight Owl. Um, or Midnight Owl, sorry. Okay, do you ever want to get married? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, what is your dream vacation? Uh, backpacking through Europe, just traveling all throughout Europe and having enough time in each country in Europe to enjoy it fully. And I don't want too little money, but I also don't want too much money. Um, I want just enough, like, <laughs> to, to do it in moderation, if that makes sense. I don't know. Yeah. Um... I'd, I'd go, I wouldn't go to every country. I might like travel through a country, but like I definitely would hit England, like the um, Ireland, Scotland, Germany. I feel like some, some of these are also in Asia, Russia. Um, I'd go to Russia. Um, did I already say Italy? France, maybe Spain, maybe. 
grease. Um, Ukraine, Norway. There's another one I'm missing. I can't remember what it is, but definitely those. And what is your favorite food? I love food. <laughs> I don't know. Um, American. So, like, soul food, you know? Um, I love fried chicken and burgers. And I know they're, like, well, except maybe fried chicken. But I know the burger is, like, an Americanized version of a German food. But, um, yeah. I love American food, but I also really, really love Italian food and French food. French food is some of the most like intense savory food I've ever had and I love Italian food their pasta they, Italians can cook okay um what is your favorite horror movie any horror flicks you would recommend to watch on your own by my sister Yuli um okay what is your favorite horror movie I have no clue there's so many good ones um off the top of my head the ones that have impacted me the most are probably um The Conjuring The Exorcist um, the Exorcism of Emily Rose, anything, well not anything, because there are some terrible ones out there, but, um, I love watching paranormal things, anything that, anything that has to do with ghosts, demons, and exorcisms, um, because those things are real, and they can and do happen, yeah, okay, um, yes, there's another horror movie, that just got me oh okay the boy is kind of terrible but there's a twist that I totally did not expect and it was a it was weird it was so strange it just made the whole thing weird <laughs> I also like the Babadook any horror flicks you would recommend um Stoker please watch Stoker that movie is amazing it's more of a well okay it's more of a psychological type of movie than horror but it's good. It's really good. What's your family think about you being goth? Um, would you please do a black and white smoky eye goth makeup tutorial? Erin. I feel like black and white smoky eye goth makeup tutorials are like all over the place on YouTube and I wouldn't want to be like redundant and just add to that. I feel like I would just do it the same way kind of as everyone else. I don't know. Um, so maybe, but most likely not. Um, what's your family think about you being goth? Um, my, f <laughs> well, my mom deals with it. She thinks it's okay. My dad thinks it's pretty cool. My grandparents, not so much. They don't really, I mean, they, they kind of try to cater to it in terms of like birthday gifts and stuff, but yeah, they aren't really that big of fans. I don't know. Um, and then uh, my other family I'm in contact with on Facebook, they're just like, whoa. They don't entirely understand it. But they also haven't seen me face to face in like years, so. Um, and then my spiritual family, they like it. They like that I'm different and that I'm the first goth that they've ever met in the kingdom. I think I'm the only goth in the kingdom unless there's other. I know Chuck used to be um, uh, punk, so that that's cool. Um, but yeah, they, they, they enjoy how different and unique I am. There's some things about the goth subculture today, not originally, but today that um, have become a part of it that weren't originally a part of it and that I <laughs> that's a whole other conversation how did you get started with playing the violin by Cecilia um I my parents put me in lessons when I was in like kindergarten I think or first grade um and I loved it so much that they just kept me in them um and I played for eight years 
and then I had to stop because we couldn't afford lessons anymore for reasons. That was just kind of a hot mess and I haven't been able to pick it back up. Um, since I've moved and now I have to pay rent, which takes up three a half of my income and um, all my other bills take up the rest, um, I can't afford lessons right now, so I just kind of it's kind of, it's sad. I don't want to talk about it. But yeah, I started when I was real little, like kindergarten, first grade, so. And I loved it. Um, are you an organized person? If so, what are your tips on finding time for everything you like doing? Anonymous. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, I, I am organized. I go through mo moments where I'm, it's more of an organized chaos kind of thing. Like it looks, like it doesn't make sense to anyone else, but it makes sense to me because I know where things are. Um, so, but yeah, I like to stay organized because it helps me keep my life together and, and stuff. And it makes me feel better. <laughs> Um, and I know where everything is. I don't have to waste time looking for something. I, it helps me plan and prepare. Yeah. If, okay, what are your tips on finding time for everything you do? Okay. What you do is, or what I do, um, is I, oh, sorry. I sit down and I look at, it's helpful if you have like Google Calendar or something, but just look at it like the week sit down look at the week schedule in the things you're definitely doing like um work classes work put in working classes i don't know if you take classes but working classes i take classes that's what i do so i have my work schedule in there and then i have my classes and then i put in the assignments that are due on what day and then i schedule in time to do those assignments and you limit yourself like say I give myself um, three hours to do this assignment I can I I have to be like you have to be disciplined with yourself and, so, and self-controlled um, you're gonna get it done in that amount of time because that's the only time you have to do it so you're gonna do it like you just gotta you just gotta do it um, and so I do that I schedule in the um, the the time it'll take me to do each assignment um and then i skill or no all my church stuff is in there too so like we ha we have multiple meetings and, and all that throughout the week and so I'll, those are already in there and then with the empty slots in between all of those i i put in travel time too because um i don't always drive i'll sometimes i'll often have to take the bus which is like two hours anywhere in this state so um, it's necessary for me to schedule in um, travel time because I can't really do much when I'm riding the bus <laughs> when I'm on the bus so any empty time then you open time you then put in the things that you want to do or like doing and this of course changes which is why I like using Google Calendar because you can go in and move things around and delete things, change the amount of time something will take. So having it visually in front of you, or at least for me, having it visually in front of me helps me so much because then I can like actually see, I'm a visual person, a visual learner, and so I can see what's, what's going on in the problem areas, things like that. So really just sitting down and blocking out your time is what I would suggest because then you see because then you're prepared because you see what you have to do make sure that you give yourself enough time to do what you have to do and then that way the time that you use for things you like to do um, aren't interceding or conflicting with the things you have to do so What's your dream job and what kind of makeup do you wear? By that one person whose name I totally forgot. I'm so sorry. Um, my dream job, I don't even know anymore. 
<laughs> I know I'm going to school for architectural engineering, but I kind of hate it. I'm almost done, so that's the only reason that I'm still doing it, but I just, I don't know. I would be the world's worst engineer. I am so serious. I don't know if I can ever know. At first, it was to be an engineer. I just wanted to build stuff. I just wanted to make it work. I picked engineering instead of architecture because um, uh, engineers are always in high demand, um, not necessarily architects, and you're, you can kind of toil in obscurity as an architect, whereas if you're an engineer, everyone needs you, and it's a hot mess. Um, so I got it for the job, or I picked it for the job security, and I thought I liked math. I mean, I do. I thought I was good at math. But then I went math not math oh my gosh math um but then I went to college and that just changed everything uh what kind of makeup do you wear I wear mostly Kat, <laughs> Kat Von D to be honest like all pretty much all of this is Kat Von D except for the red eyeshadow that is um makeup forever I think that my eyebrows are elf concealer is NYX um, primer is NYX. Eyelashes are Eyelure. The Vegas Nay Eyelure Collection. Um, the powder is e.l.f. Highlighter is NYX. Contour is, which you can barely see, is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Their foundation sticks, so. Is that what you meant? I th that's what I thought you meant. If you mean, like, what kind is in, like, style then I don't know I don't know because sometimes I wear stuff that's too natural to be goth to be considered goth um, or too colorful I don't know I just kind of do whatever I want um, but this is like the basicness of what I do like I do eyeshadow right dark eyeshadow contour with darker eyeshadow do cut crease with light color and then my eyeliner I always do like this sometimes not the inner corner but I always do like this and then the bottom lid is like that and then just whatever lipstick matches so yeah I think that's all the questions I hope that's all the questions because this video is kind of long if I didn't get to your question I'm sorry but um, I love all of you I do, I'm going to have way more time to film YouTube videos, even though they aren't going to be as high quality as when I had my Canon camera. They're on my phone now. I'm kind of okay with that, to be honest, because um, it makes editing a little easier. Anyways, because I don't have a laptop. <laughs> um, but yes, I have many YouTube videos in mind. I just have to film them, get them done. Um, and it's been a hot mess this, this week and next week are finals weeks. This is the last week of classes. Next week is finals week. And so after that, I will have more time to film because I get a whole month off from school for winter break. So yes, it's not like I'm like not, I don't know, whatever. I'll, I'll do what I want. Um, anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for your questions. And um, I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.